Welcome back to the guys. It's time for another anime first impression video. Welcome once again guys, it's time for another anime first impression video. This is going to be on My Daughter Left the Nest and Returned an S Rank Adventure. Uh, this can be found on Crunchyroll and time of recording, there's only one out, it released today. Um, and it's, it's got a lot of views already, I mean there's already like 500 ratings on it. so. People are, are they're starting off right on the first day, just like I am, so uh, pretty impressive. Um, before anything, guys, if you have not checked out my first, first impression video of the season, I released it just a few hours ago. I'm releasing this one a few hours later, just so that they're not back-to-back. -back. Um, make sure you go watch them. I am releasing quite a bit this season, so make sure, if you haven't done so, subscribe, which is the best way to keep up with all the stuff that I'll be releasing. So. Um, um, make sure you're doing that uh, also if you want to further support it the, the, the channel you can always comment like and share because that helps tremendously um, yeah so again my daughter left the nest and returned an s rank adventurer now few things um, the one that I reviewed earlier and this one both have in a way a um, daddy love from a person who's not a f their actual father this one was done a lot better than the previous one you can watch my other first impression video if you want but the other one was kind of creepy uh this one it, it it's it makes sense it makes sense so um we get kind of a prequel in the first um few scenes and essentially um the girl who is at rank, she was abandoned in the forest uh, with just a few enchantments to push away any evil spirits. And this this guy, red-headed guy, he who had, I think at this point already uh, retired from adventuring, saved the girl and raced her under his wing. Well, when she's around 13, 14, he is sending her off to... Uh, basically her mission in life which is to become an adventurer just like her father right and it's, it's very sweet he's very encouraging he's very proud of her but also at the same time worried that she might get hurt which she probably will and that's just you know i i, I talked about it in the, in the video previously to this one it, it's it's a parent's uh fear of any stage of life. It starts from letting them having to crawl and walk to taking them to kindergarten to um, taking them to high school to taking them to college to letting them go work on their own. Like there's so many stages in life that as a parent you're gonna hit and you just you gotta learn how to let them go and let them explore the world on their own. So uh, he's definitely doing that to her and as she does like she the the intro happens and it comes back and essentially it's been five years she's already grown up she's an s rank now she's part of a party of, of three girls and she's doing great but it's been five years since she hasn't gone to visit so she's been working her butt off now the entire episode she's sending letters to him and in many of them she's like i'm gonna go visit you i'm gonna go visit you but something happens one thing after the other. First, um, some guy shows up in the guild asking for help. People are dying, so they go help. Secondly, she's already on her way, and on her way there, she has to rescue, uh, I think, a nobleness girl or, or someone important, and she decides to escort her uh, before people try to kill her again or uh, rob her from her belongings. Uh, then, on her way again, she has another encounter uh, where she needs to go. So, just one thing after the other happens on any of her free time, and um, it's heartbreaking, you know, he she keeps writing to him and there's times where like he's already waiting for her um, Outside his house and it's the mailman who shows up with a letter from her. And he's like he, he already knows she's not gonna be there uh, And he's he's just waiting patiently for the day that she'll be back uh, the episode basically goes on into um, 
a little bit of of the girls uh the other two girls that are in the guild with her they go and have some relaxing time having some sweets together and they kind of share that the two girls that are with her they're they were raised in an orphan and they basically were raised with with no parent right um the one girl who's like a witch looking girl, she's kind of like the oldest and she kind of uh, has worked her butt off to, to learn the spells. And the other one who is basically a arrow girl, um, she has worked her butt off to be the best arc archer that there is. So all three of them come from similar backgrounds, although that, you know, our protagonist was actually raised by someone, but all of them, in a sense, were orphans. Um, so yeah, the episode ends with her writing another letter saying that she really wishes that she could be there at some point to share the stories and be with him and talk with him. So um, I like the story. It's definitely a slice, slice of life and definitely not a a big hitter. You know, it's not going to be in my top ten, my top five at all. But it is a sweet, sweet uh, story. Um, what I like about it is the whole fatherly child uh, love. Because very often times, whenever I would hang out with my father, it wasn't too much of... No, it wasn't like a big conversation ever. Like almost the best conversations that I remember having with my father was just nonsense, was... This is how work is going. This is what I've been doing. Or he would explain to me what he was doing. And um, I would explain to him, like, you know, something was weird with the vehicle and it was broken and I fixed it. And, you know, I was really proud of myself for fixing stuff like that. And uh, in fact, just a few weeks ago, uh, something was, was wrong with my vehicle. The, the the seats weren't actually going down anymore or they weren't moving. And uh, I went in there and, and disconnected all the cables underneath it, reconnected them um, and changed one or two cables, changed uh, some stuff that needed to be changed. And, and it was great. And I remember when, it, when I finally tried it for the first time again and the seat actually moved i remember feeling this feeling of i just want to tell my dad i want to call my dad and just talk to him and explain to him the struggle that i was trying to figure out what the problem was and then me finding the solution because those were the conversations that i loved and remembered having with my dad unfortunately for those who know my dad passed away less than a year ago so not able to do that call um and instead i uh went inside i was actually visiting my in-laws went inside and i talked to my father-in-law about it and he doesn't know but it meant a lot to me me being able to just share that i was proud of myself (laughs) uh for fixing a seat so anyways that's why i like the series it gets that good feeling uh back to me and i really really love when there's that daddy father and daughter interaction because i myself have three daughters um and another kid in the way so I'm, I'm also a dad and i also like that interaction seeing it in in the anime so yeah in in, in that show i would say i'll give this one a 6.5 i think it's not going to be a big hitter but it would definitely make me at least watch it and really enjoy it so uh yeah let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching this uh there will be a lot more coming out so keep up subscribe that's the best way to keep up with these videos and guys like always don't be strangers see you guys